So thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to present the updates from the case management working group on behalf of the of our working group. And as in previous session, uh, I MS, I, so I work for MSF and we have just taken over the leadership of this working group from ICCDRB. So I would first like to thank uh, Dr. Igbal, who was chairing the group before me, and Kate, the focal point from Secretaria, who did most of the work. So we have just did we just did a handover at the beginning of this year. So we are also a bit new on our side. Uh, can we have next slide, please? Then? So as I mentioned, I'm, I'm a bit new and uh, our group has been a bit delayed still with the COVID and other restrictions. Nevertheless, we have managed to achieve at least something. And uh, the interim technical note on the treatment of cholera in pregnant women has been published on GTFCC website. And the update is being finalized on the cholera app. We think that's a great achievement to at least bring some uh, spotlight on this particular at risk uh, group of patients. However, there is much work that still needs to be done in better understanding the reasons for the fetal loss in pregnancy and how best to prevent it. There has been work ongoing on the multisectorial approach to targeted cholera control. And uh, in the last uh, um, working group meeting we had prior to the uh, seventh uh, annual meeting. There were discussions around the case area targeted interventions and there have been protocols developed by different partners how to best evaluate the, the CATI interventions during the outbreak control. And then we have launched a review uh, on the cholera mortality, both in the community and the facility-based mortality, and specifically looking at the risk factors for cholera mortality. And I will return to that a little bit later in the, in the next priorities uh, to explain the rationale. Uh, next slide, please. Okay. Yeah, so, as I mentioned, the, the, the work in the, our group has been a little bit delayed with uh, COVID uh, shift of priorities and restrictions, and also because of the handover of the, of the leadership of the group. And in fact, we didn't have any, neither in-person or virtual meetings since the previous annual group meeting. Then. As mentioned already on the last annual meeting, there has been a number of key work that has been suspended uh, during COVID, but we hope it will be resumed uh, very soon. And one of those key areas of work that was initiated in the case management working group was looking at the role of uh, community health workers in cholera control but the work has been suspended during the, the pandemic, but we hope to restart soon. And another key topic that has been, uh, I think, uh, mentioned throughout the, uh, over the years is the uh, guidance on the how to best rehydrate children with uh, severe dehydration and severe acute malnutrition. And there's been some key, there are some key uh, uh, clinical trials that are ongoing in Eastern Africa on the, the best uh, uh, rehydration strategy that had also been suspended during the, uh, due to the COVID. So the, we will have to wait for the results to be able to update the, the guidance. Next slide, please then. But then looking in the future in the, the way we would like to uh, kind of organize the work is around two key mm -hmm. axes for the preventing mm -hmm. the cholera mm -hmm. mortality. Mm -hmm. I think we have some people talking. <laughs> Can we ask people to mute their mics uh, if they're not on the floor, please? Like you uh, switching your video off, please mute your mic. <laughs> Thank you very much for the so the, 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 the two axes are obviously improving early access to treatment and prevention and then secondly to to improve the the clinical care of the patient the uh, the, the first one on the early access, it's particularly important in uh, uh, preventing cholera mortality, but it's also a very challenging one. And here it's we see it really important to, to work with uh, all other pillars in, in working groups and uh, in uh, 
cholera control strategies that, and in particular, we are very much looking forward to the new initiative on the community engagement, because obviously the community engagement in the preventing cholera mortality at the community level is, is essential. The, uh, we will continue uh, working on improving the access to treatment of, to cholera in the community and especially exploring the, the role of existing health, uh, uh, health sector mechanisms and the community health workers, what I mentioned previously. So I hope we will restart the, the subgroup on the integration of community health workers in cholera response very soon. And we will continue working with other, hopefully with other uh, working groups uh, on the targeted interventions in the community to integrate early access to treatment in all the other activities that are happening at the community level. And then the other big uh, access is in, the in improving the, the quality of care that we are providing to the patient. Uh, you might have noticed that in uh, the cholera treatment guidelines have not changed much in the past 50 years. And probably cholera itself as a disease has not changed, but the victims probably have changed. So I mentioned before that one of the, the priorities that we undertook is to, to revise the, the risk groups for cholera mortality. We, we notice in practice that those today in the health facilities, people with cholera who die are, are elderly or patients with comorbidities. And those are not recognized today as a high risk group. Therefore, they are not uh, prioritized for the more um, special care. The, and in somehow related to that, the, the other priority for us in the next uh, months to come would be to revise the, the current guide, GTFCC guidance on antibiotic use, uh, starting with the indications for treatment and then as a second step on the uh, regarding targeted prophylaxis. Next slide, please. So I, I just want to thank all the all the members of the of the working group, and I, I really hope we, I mean, we we will be meeting very soon virtually, and I hope also in in person. Thank you very much. Next slide. I, I'm finished. Actually, thank you.